Hi and welcome to this quick tutorial on a new feature in Adobe Animate 2017. It was introduced at the beginning of the year and it's an enhancement for animations where you're using the looping option single frame. So if you've got various images nested within a graphic symbol and you want to be able to reference them like I have done in this example from my improving lip syncing tutorial, which if you haven't seen, I recommend you check it out. So just as a reminder, you can see I've got a graphic symbol here of the face of this character. It's a graphic symbol and the looping is set to single frame. If I double click on the face, we've got six different keyframes and I can move between them using the comma and full stop key. And they're just different positions of the eyes. So we've got the eyes closed, moving about in different positions. And this can help to animate the head in a lively way. And the reason I've got it set to single frame is I don't want an animation like this looping over and over again. Because that looks silly. So I'm going to go back to my scene. And previously, I changed the eye position by entering different numbers into this section here where it says first. So what is the first frame that we want to see. But now we can use this thing called frame picker. So if I click on frame picker, instead of using numbers to decide which frame I want to show, we can use pictures, which is so much more intuitive. In the past, you could get this functionality through a plugin called Keyframe Caddy. Adobe have done the sensible thing of creating their own version of it. So this is really useful for this particular usage case because it's hard to remember which number corresponds to which picture. So I think I want this one featured in number five. So I can just click that. I can move along with my animation and go to frame 25, press F6. And I think I want a new position. I'm going to look straight forwards again. I'm going to go another 25 frames and I'm going to make the character blink. Go a few more frames forward, press F6, go back to a normal face. And maybe I'll extend that by pressing F5. So we can play that through now. Character looks like that and blinks. The mouth's disappearing because I, I haven't extended the mouth layer. So I'll just do that with F5. And you can see that's a very, very quick, really intuitive way of using single frame graphic symbols. So check it out yourself and I'll see you in the next one.